Agencies. Let's talk about agencies. So we all have worked with various different models of some specialist agencies, some big network agencies, worked agency side as well. The level of disruption in the agency model at the moment, not least with what's gone on in recent weeks with WPP, what does the future agency work look like? Abby, I'm going to start with you if I may. Uh, yeah, I, I would say it, it very much depends on the size of company that you're working for, working with. I, I imagine that there will always be a place in, in some form or other for a, a few of the larger agencies with enterprise clients that they will inherently, I think, still stay. I don't think it's the death of the agency, but you're getting a lot more smaller ones, niche ones popping up um, that I think can add the resource and the creativity um, that's sometimes needed to, to kind of more mid-market sized companies. And everyone's looking for that competitive edge now. And where you can't find that internally, you know, oftentimes people will look to, regardless of what size agency it is, just to add a different perspective. Um, so whether there'll be a constant retained agency model moving forwards, um, perhaps not because people want more transparency um, but I do think that the agencies will still be there and they're just going to have to be much more transparent about costings and what's being delivered and, and you know their value. So Abby's talked a bit about whether the big agencies will still be around or not. I suspect they will be for some time to come. Steve, talk to us about your interest in the more flexible model of freelancers that the digital world has enabled. So I think first of all as businesses, we are clearly extremely busy with the priorities within the business and to meet those priorities as well as stay abreast of the skills that are required is very challenging for the internal organisation to operate autonomously. So I think agencies are going to continue to play a significant role where there's specialisms that are required. You know, if you look at automation, um, if you look at account-based marketing, you often see agencies take on that specialism. And what we're seeing, to answer your specific question on freelancers, is we are starting to see, you know, you go onto Google, put freelancers, and you, you like buying a bag of potatoes. I don't mean it so crudely, but it is. You literally go on to, and you can actually buy resource by the hour. Um, and that is very, very advantageous if you get the right level of skills. Um, to actually give you agility within the business because every project requires different skills and sometimes you won't have them internally so you need to have them externally. So freelancers will take the bottom end of the market I think because often they're very very competent individuals um, but agencies need to specialise on to provide that support to businesses. Okay so with that freelance um, model available digitally is it skills, is it cost, or is it a combination of the two in your view? I, I, I think it's skills. Um, I think cost is always about value for money. It's not about the lowest cost. And obviously when you're going to something that's unknown, you don't know what necessarily what you're going to get. However, the reviews are quite comprehensive. So you, you, know, you could see somebody who's got three or 400 reviews and actually say they are competent, they are good value for money, and they fulfill my project requirements for this skill set that I need at this precise moment in time. And a freelancer is perfect. Chris, do you believe in the freelancer model as a challenger brand? Um, I, I, I do in certain cases, but the challenge we have uh, with my organisation is that we're trying to stand up a new marketing, global marketing organisation uh, for the industry vertical that I'm responsible for. And uh, we have a very sophisticated product set and we have a very sophisticated audience. So to just take someone off the, uh, the cab rank, shall we say, and they're not going to get up to speed and really be able to help us that um, much very quickly unless it's a quite a generic task. So what uh, I'm trying to do is actually build up a, uh, shall we say, a roster of um, more boutique agencies, smaller organisations that can we can develop an enduring relationship with, who get to know us well, can be extensions of our own team and brand and culture. Um, but uh, not be reliant on just one large uh, whale of an agency um, who I'm sad to say often become quite complacent uh, and, and really more about them than about, than about us. So having a little bit of a competitive dynamic it can also be a healthy, a healthy tension between the agencies. Keeps them sharp. Good. Good for bit everyone. of fresh thinking on everyone. both sides.